Hey, welcome back to another OTD video. Uh, today we're going to be looking at one of my favorite castings, the Passing Gasser. Yes, it is a car that is named after flatulence. Uh, funny story, designer Larry Wood uh, designed this car before he retired. And he, you know, when, when designers, high wheels designers, they, they uh, mock up cars, they draw them, uh, you know, they kind of give them working titles, just like movies have. And his, for this car, was Passing Gasser. And it was something that he had never figured would ever get through legal. And lo and behold, <laughs> the car came out in 2008 as Passing Gasser. So um, I have to admit, I, I, I kind of did start collecting this car based on the name which is kind of funny, you know, in a sense that who collects cars based on a funny name, but I, apparently I do. Anyways, so this is the original 2008 new model in purple. It came in this nice metallic purple. It is a color that, uh, you know, we'd see it a couple more times in its, um, you know, its entirety through its run, um, which is still going on, by the way. So from 2008 to 2019, actually to the present, uh, we still have passing gas releases being released. Um, this car is very, well, it's a gasser, right? So you do have the under, underneath, you have the, um, exhaust pipes, you have the engine detail, you have the blown engine on the hood, you have a nice kind of grill there, uh, roll bar, wheelie bar, uh, parachute in the back, thick drag wheels on the front or on the back, and then the skinnies up front. So very gasser-esque and you know it may not be as popular as uh so, you know some of the other gassers like the 55 chevy bell gasser um, but it is a gasser nonetheless and it is unlicensed so you know it kind of has some characteristics of a you know a early you know chevy or an old ford at that time and you have the you even have a cutaway in the roof and you know i kind of like that in that you can see the the driver's seat and the roll bar so, and I thought, you know, let's look at this gasser. Let's look at this um, in honor of, of the sale today on, on for Redline Club members. Uh, you have the, the Willis gasser going on sale today. So perfect timing to look at uh, one of my favorite gassers in the passing gasser. We have the original in purple. Let's bring out the other three uh, colorways from that year. All, all four of these uh, were 2008 new model releases. The next one was yellow. We have the yellow release and the purple. How am I going to stack these? I don't know. There we go. Matte black, which is, I think this is my favorite of the bunch. I do like the, the original purple, but I always love a matte black car for some reason. And then we have lime green. Lime green. I don't, I don't think any of these were um, store exclusives, if I remember correctly. So. And there were some really crazy like variations on like the wheels. I remember um, some had the small Goodyear print, and some had the big Goodyear print. So um, you know those are just variations I, I I haven't really cared to get, so I never got them. Anyways, um, let's continue on. Uh, we do have eleven years worth of cars to go through, so I am going to walk you through all these right here. So let's put these back in the rack. And then we're going to move over to uh, the next release, which was 2009. And it kind of got its first taste of premium. Um, oddly enough, it was in the Larry's Garage um, like uh, collection at the end of the year. I think it was a Toys R Us exclusive, if, I'm not, uh, if I remember correctly. And it wasn't even in the series. And it, had, it was in this 20-car box set. Actually, it was a 21-car box set because this was the 21st car. And so it's got its first taste of premium right off the bat, uh, metal base, and you can see the, the Larry Wood signature on there, the initials. So it was in this box set at the end of 2009. So pretty cool that, um, you know, and I had, I had already started, I started collecting kind of right off the bat, you know, based on the name. And it was kind of cool to have it already reach premium status, status right away. And it's kind of in this cool pink and silver uh, metal flake. So the pink is kind of like a pearl and then you have the silver paint. So a two-tone paint job. Um, I don't think, I don't think they really had a skinny, if I remember correctly, I don't think they had a skinny drag wheel at the time. It wasn't until Drake's Drip Demons and I'm uh, kind of catching me off guard here. I think it was like 2010 
but that's neither here nor there. Um, we have a basic wheel on the front, but then we have the, the real riders on the back. So yeah, it doesn't really, I mean, there are two different wheels to begin with. So, you know, what's the big deal if one's plastic, one's rubber. So very cool release there. Larry's garage on the side there. Like I said, the initials were on the bottom. I think that was, um, that wasn't like a chase piece or anything. They all have the initials. Then, um, we had the mainline release in 2009. This is in the Hot Wheels racing series. And in 2009 and either, I think it was 2010 as well. Um, none of the cars in the Hot Wheels racing series had the Hot Wheels race team logos on it. So they kind of just had gener generic racing paint schemes, which is odd, especially from a racing collector. But we end up getting a couple of variations of this. And I don't think many people are aware of how many variations there were in this, uh, in this, in the series for 2009. This is the first one. This is the most common. It, uh, you know, you, you probably, when you see these other three, you're like, well, what's the difference? Well, we'll see. Okay. So let's start off with, um, let's start off with one of the other variations in there is the, so the standard one comes with the hot rails racing on the, on the back tires. And then you had the harder to find variation with the Goodyear logo on the back tires. So that makes two or all well, two variants. I'm going to stack them up here. And then speaking of wheel variations, we have the variation where the front wheels are five spokes and not the skinny dot wheels. So you can kind of see the comparison there. So, and this one has the hot wheels racing on the back tire. And last but not least, we have probably the more, um, probably the more well-known maybe, or, um, probably more sought after in that you had the Chrome engine <laughs> variation. So if you notice all three of the other ones have gray plastic engines, this one has that Chrome and I dropped them all. <laughs> I have a chromed um, variation there. So compared to the plastic roll bar and plastic engine on the common variant. So that makes four variations right there. I actually had a, I have another one that's like a double stamped wheel. Um, that is an error. So I didn't, I didn't include that one. Um, but I think that is it. Yeah. So let's put those back. And then we'll move to 2010. 2010 was the Hot Wheels Performance Series. So those of you that have collected a little, a little later on the, in the game here, um, that series eventually kind of changed name to the Hot Wheels Speed Performance, Hot Wheels Speed Graphics, Hot Wheels Speed Graphics. And in that series, we had uh, this red variant. It has Mr. G. Mr. Gasket, I think, Mr. Gasket Company test car. So, like I said, it's kind of like how it speed graphics. Um, I had a company logo on the side and you know on the back. And the red one actually had a Walmart exclusive variant. So, back before Zamax and back before um, a couple of the uh, windshield banners and the other things they did, pink cars, we had the Goodyear wheel variations that Walmart had. So there's that there, the two variations. I almost dropped them again. And then we had uh, two colorways. So we had the reds and then we had the colorways in green. You can see the green one there. And we had this like metallic, 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 oh, metal flake, yellow, um, Variation two. So, so four more variants uh, for 2010 in the main line alone. And if you remember, I was saying that. So the Larry's Garage, um, that one that was in the set, came as part of the uh, just as the set and wasn't actually in this um, the series for that year. Well, in 2010, the next year, they did put in the series. So you did 
um, see it in premium altogether. And I believe the first one was the white release. So we have the white. And then these all had chase pieces, which had the, the um, in either the initials or the uh, full signature of Larry Wood on the bottom. I don't believe I have any of those. Just another, you know, another one of those variations. I, I just don't really care to have. So I haven't picked those up. So after white was red. Yeah, so and the, and the red, the red I'm kind of like the least out of these. The one I like the least is just just because it kind of looks like a dye job. It looks like someone kind of dyed the white one red. I think everything just turned red. So that's one I just, I don't care for that much, but you know, it is what it is. And then there's the yellow release. So, oh, sorry, actually it wasn't the yellow release. It was the black one, the black. This is my favorite out of the, out of these four, the black release, all black red lines on black rims. So very, Cool black interior, everything just black, very cool. And then at the end of the year, it was in the set again in exclusive color. Um, I think all the the Larry Wood, um, sorry, what was it? Larry's garage, all Larry's garage cars came in a separate color. So you had the yellow, and then I think all yeah, all these had the signature on the bottom because it was there all chases at the end of the year. So. So another four, another four, another series, another four variants. So it's been, we're two years into, two years into the passing gas and we have like, looks like we have like 15 variants so far, something like that. So it's pretty insane. It's great though. Like if you just, if you just start collecting and casting and they just roll off variations like crazy, um, it's pretty fun to do, especially, you know, if a lot of people aren't collecting them, you know, like, you know, like you collect castings like the like the sixty seven Camaro or the Bone Shaker, or, you know, something that's been around for a while, and there's like a thousand collectors of it. It's just like every time it, you know, even fifty five Chevy Bel Air Gasser, you know, everybody knows that you know they're going to get money for them. So you know, people are hoarding them like crazy. Whereas like you know these these castings are nice to acquire because nobody, you know, they're not going to be selling out out at every store. You know, people aren't going to be hoarding them, so it's really nice to be able to collect you know from the get go. So I'm going to go. I do have a little list here and I like to refer to it because this is my homemade myth, my homemade list that I build all my collections off of. Um, I used to do it off of online databases and then people would go in there and change information on me. And, you know, plus it lets me kind of put the information that I care about. So, uh, 2011 back in the main line the heat fleet series so we have the heat fleet release in i think let's see it was the satin blue yes it was satin blue so the satin blue color there and then that was followed up quickly by the uh, fluorescent green release which is a toys r us exclusive so another toys r us exclusive for this casting So very cool paint job there, kind of uh, two polarizing colors, definitely. And then, so the, these two were uh, 2011, and then there was a 2011 mystery models. So if you remember, um, you know, like the little foil baggies that they do, um, I believe this is Walmart, if I'm not mistaken, or maybe it was Toys R Us. It was one of those, um, but they had it in pink. So there's actually a third variant of this one in pink. So another year and more variants how awesome is that so very three awesome colors there then in 2011 we see the car return to premium right great awesome another premium car metal base real riders uh, if you remember there was a hot wheels racing line in 2012 um, you know, there's, there's, it's kind of, kind of getting up there in popularity now. And this was one of the cars. This is one of the cars in the, uh, it was the NHRA drag racing championship, something like that, uh, series in that. And 
you know, I think the most popular cards in that series were the Snake and Mongoose, but this little guy was in there too, and his gold chrome wheels, metal base, real riders. They just put the thick real riders on the front, even though they're small, um, and I have no problems with that. You don't need skinny wheels every time. So this is a nice release. Another uh, one in Metal Flake Purple, kind of just like the the uh, the initial release of it. And Painted Parachute, so I think this is the only release of the casting that comes with a Painted Parachute. So only, it kind of seems strange, I only have one variant on a release with this car. After the, after the uh, 2012 um, NHRA uh, Drag Racing Championship release, you have a, a run on multi-pack exclusives. So that's, it's kind of like, um, if you saw the Camaro video I did, they, there was kind of this run on, um, you know, on the 85 Camaro I rock. Uh, there was a kind of this, like, these couple years where they just had the casting uh, being released and over and over again in multi-packs. And the same thing happened to the Passing Gasser. So, I don't know what it is, these cars they collect, but uh, the first release was Matt Black. So, and then what they did was this was the, um, they actually created a, a, uh, deco for this multi-pack exclusive. And I think, yeah, this was actually the one that was in the window. So it was actually a multi-pack exclusive, like called out as one, as opposed to just appearing in them. And there is a rare variation of this and it's got. And I don't know if it's more of a, a an error or an error, but I guess all kind of variations are sometimes errors. But the uh, the tampo on the back is white over orange versus this being orange over white. So I have never I haven't got that one. Um, I've had a chance at a few, and they're kind of just priced out of my league. So I do have this one. It's not a big variation, so I'm not you know too heartbroken that I don't have it. But this is the kind of the multi pack variation that started it all off. And then we have another one. We have another um, release in the multi-pack right after that. Same year, 2012, in Metal Flight Green. So it's just the same deco repeated in a different color. Colorway of that. So, I don't know. These are fun. I love, I love col colorways. I think that's one of the things I like about Hot Wheels, oddly enough, is the fact that they just change up the colors. <laughs> I think that's I think that's what people love, right? I mean, they all they did with the original red lines is they changed the the colors, and people went crazy and collected them all, right? Collect your own rainbow. So after the green, we had uh, a metal flake purple release in the multi pack. So another multi pack exclusive. Stacking them up here. Okay, so that was another 2012 release. And with that one, we had a variation on that one. We had the five spoke wheel fronts up here again. So I think we saw that with the, the um, Hot Wheels racing one with the, the, the primer brown. So four variants so far. Then in 2013, another multi-pack exclusive in Metal Flake, I call it burgundy, some people call it brown. Call it what you will, this is what it is. So another multi-pack exclusive, set that there. And then 2014, we have another multi-pack exclusive. It is kind of like a, I guess I, I think I might call it, do I call it pale yellow? I'll just call it yellow. But in yellow, kind of a duller yellow, but another multi-pack exclusive nonetheless. I should probably keep these out because I think we are gonna need those later. So, but going on, um, so 2012 to 2014, we had three years of multi-pack exclusives. You're looking at all those right there. 2015, it's back in the main line, back in a series called the Heat Fleet series in blue. So let me just put these off the side. And we'll get out the blue one. Yes, Raina and Cook. Not to be confused with Marston and Lana on the uh, Candy Striper Gasser, right? Anyways, uh, so we have this kind of this lighter blue release in the 2015. Um, it was the Hot Wheel Workshop Heat Fleet series. 
And if you recall, if you, if you treasure hunters out there recall, the this received a super treasure hunt variation of it or variant. So you have it in kind of the mainline spectra flame blue and yellow deep dish um, rear rider five spoke wheels. Got the T hunt or TH logo on the hood there. So nice pair there. And those were the only two uh, variants for that year. And um, so that was 2015, 2016, 2017, no releases. Uh, Kind of got kind of got worried there as a, as a collector of the casting. You hate to see a couple years go by without any releases, uh, but needless to say, in 2018 we saw it come back as a as a uh, mystery model in metal flake green. So metal flake green and number 11 on the side because it was number 11 in the series, but different deco brand new deco there for that one and then 2018 we get another one we get another uh release of it this time in midnight blue but can you guess where yes those that guessed multi-pack exclusive are right it appeared as a multi-pack exclusive once again and if you remember the deco on the others it is strikingly familiar. Uh, they did update it. They updated a few of the names. I think they added Brennan Viteski's name on it, um, uh, Colucci's, and uh, yeah, and they swapped out um, a couple of logos on there. So they did update the graphics a little bit, but needless to say, it is that same that same livery there. And then also in 2008. So this is one two. Um, three variations or variants in 2018. Uh, we had this infamous, I guess you could call it, uh, international promo. Um, I, I remember a lot of these showed up in Italy, at least like right off the bat. Um, I know they shown off, shown up in other international um, countries outside the U.S. So um, I won't say it's a Italy or even a European exclusive because they showed up in anywhere from Asia to South Africa to um, Israel to. Um, f I think Finland, Italy. So, I mean, yeah, kind of all over. So this is a very cool one. If you remember, it, um, and if you saw the article I did on it, when it came out on orange it came in a package with a little, um, drag strip, um, Christmas tree light. So that was really cool. Um, but this one comes in gold. It says golden age. Um, El Segundo, California, the satin kind of gold, all grown, all gold. So it kind of goes good with that all black one, but basic kind of release, you know, plastic base, basic plastic tires. So that was the uh, third release of 2018. And then just going back, there was, um, I know there was, there was actually one report of this multi-pack release coming in with an MC five wheel variation. Um, I have only seen one guy collect, get one and it's oddly enough, it's a, a guy that uh, actually collects, collects passing guessers. So, uh, good find by him. And the next, we're, gonna, we're just going to keep rolling here. Uh, 2019, uh, it came back again this year as a multi-pack exclusive. This time in, I call it cyan. Um, I know some people are calling it aqua, it's light sky blue. Um, this is this is cyan for me. So, um, And they did, they did kind of switch up the tampas again a little bit. Um, if you're looking close... Um, they took Bernard Viteski's name off for some reason. They added, uh, looks like some graphics, graphics guys on there on the bottom, but very slight variance. Um, I mean, for the most part, it's the same deco repeated. And then the last release of it we got was just a couple, about a month ago. We saw the Larry Wood, um, 50 years of design series at Walmart. And we had that cool, um, you know, blister card with the sketch of the passing guests around there. And we have this early times racing team, 50, um, passing guests are in, in baby blue. So kind of different, different from the, what I call a cyan a little bit, but there you go. That is the passing gasser collection.
25 minutes of just gas. So I, uh, I thank you for watching. Um, definitely look for more videos coming soon. Thank you.